What is going on guys? Welcome to the video. Today we're doing an arm workout and keep in mind I don't do arm days every single week. I don't do arm days every single month. Um, you know, I, my arm days just come sporadically when I have time. Um, I do I do them very randomly and that's just because I love being in the gym. So when I have that extra time, I do throw in an arm day here and there. But all my arm days consist of the same movements because I enjoy doing them. Now, the first movement on this arm day is the dumbbell curl. Everybody knows what a dumbbell curl is. Everybody does it. A lot of people do it wrong. Many people do it right. But just some quick tips. Keep your elbows to your side. Um, don't swing and jerk. Don't try and use heavy weight use really light weight if you see if you go on videos and see kai green uh dumbbell curling he only uses like 20 25 pounds so with that in mind you know just um use light weight keep good form a huge tip for this movement is to try and bring that pinky and try and touch your shoulder with it you're not going to be able to but doing that keeping that in mind is going to allow you to get a lot better of a contraction on your bicep so that's a huge tip for this movement again on the eccentric portion of the movement you want to come all the way down get that full stretch on the bicep and then on the concentric um, portion of the movement you want to get that full squeeze so huge tips for this movement Moving on, the second movement on this arm day is for triceps and it's a tricep push down. And two tips I can give you guys for this movement. This is a really basic movement, but two tips I can give you guys is that on the bottom portion of the movement, um, go all the way down and squeeze the shit out of your tricep. Um, squeeze as hard as you can. And then on the top portion of, of the movement, when you're coming back up, try and get that forearm to touch your bicep. Don't come down until that forearm touches your bicep just because you want to get a full stretch on your tricep. So those are my two tips for this movement. Our third movement for this workout was for biceps and this is a straight bar curl, very simple, keep your elbows to your side, go back up. As you see, I'm not locking my elbows out and that's just because I want to keep constant tension on the bicep, so that's a tip right there. And then the second tip is that when you're getting tired, when your biceps can't take it anymore, try and do a little bit of cheat reps, so you know, push the weight with your hips back up and that's going to help you get some extra reps in, so that's a huge tip right there to get some extra volume in. Now, after those straight bar curls, we moved on to some dips, and on the dips, I wanted to let you guys know that when you're going down on the dips, you don't have to go all the way down. I see a lot of people put their shoulders at risk. You don't want to do that. Go until you feel comfortable. A lot of people complain um, of shoulder pain with this movement, and it's because they're doing it wrong. Go down until you feel comfortable, and then come back up, and just try and focus on you know, um, squeezing the tricep when you're in the top portion of the movement. The more upright you stay, the more tricep you are going to work. Now, after the dips, we moved on to some hammer curls. And I only have one tip for you guys for this movement, honestly. And it's to try and focus on bringing that dumbbell to the opposite shoulder. Um, that's the only tip I have. And then, you know, keep your shoulders in place. But that's with any bicep movement. that's going to conclude this video guys this is a really quick but effective arm workout that you can go into the gym and do in 30 to 45 minutes nothing extremely difficult really simple i wanted to keep this simple and concise so that you guys could understand it and you know just give you guys some tips um this is a arm workout that i don't do too often but when i go to the gym and do arm days this is what i do this is my this, these are my staple movements but with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video please leave this video a like and stay tuned because this upcoming week the cold-blooded competition prep episodes are coming back and i'm extremely excited so love y'all take care peace ladies